Come here. You are wearing a niqab like a Muslim woman, but you really are a Christian. Come here, please. Let's talk. Why are you scared? I'm only a Muslim man. Come. Madam. Good afternoon. Madam, can I ask you a question? Watch cameras behind. Uh, madam, are you a Muslim? Oh, why are we waiting? Where's the answer? Answer me. Are you a Muslim woman? Are you a Christian? Okay, I don't want to make a mockery of women. She's a Christian lady. She doesn't want to speak. It's up to you. But I invite you. You need to become a Muslim. All right? Because already you uh, cover yourself like a Muslim woman. So I invite you. Read our Holy Quran. Become a Muslim. And when you become a Muslim, you will realize Jesus was a prophet. He was not God. Jesus was a prophet. He was not the son of God. Why? Because Jesus was son of Mary. Okay? And remember, God doesn't have a mother. Do you understand? Will you say something? Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, All right. Anyways. Uh, to my fellow Muslims, brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And to my fellow human beings, whether you are Christian or any other religion, uh, when these videos are uploaded, you will see for yourself that I have tried to uh, debate with several Christians, and the Christians, one after the other, uh, seem to have run away. Why do the Christians run away from us Muslims? Because the Christians cannot debate with us Muslims. Why can't, do the Christians run away from us Muslims? Because the Christians cannot answer the questions we Muslims put to the Christians. Why do the Christians run away? Because the Christians do not have confidence. Because the Christians run away, they do not have the truth. So they run away and they keep running while we Muslims we do not run why because we have the truth why when we debate we win debates when we speak we speak nicely and remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in our holy Quran it's a message to my fellow Muslims and a message to my fellow human beings who are not Muslim in our holy Quran which has 112 surahs, 112 chapters in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, Surah, chapter number 2, ayah, verse number 3, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Zalikal kitabu la raiba fi. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, Surah chapter number 2, ayah verse number 3, Allah says, Zalikal kitabu la raiba fi. This glorious book in which there is no doubt. Hudan lil muttaqin. It is a guidance for the God conscious who fear Allah. So, this is the, our Holy Quran. Where Allah says, Zalikal kitabu la raiba fi. This glorious book in which there is no doubt. Hudan lil muttaqin. It is a guidance for the God conscious who fear Allah. So this beautiful holy Quran is a guidance for everyone. Whoever wants to be guided, it is about time they read the holy Quran. Why? Because the holy Quran will make us into good Muslims. The Holy Quran will make us into good human beings. And when we are good Muslims, good human beings, what do we do? We do good. And when we do good, what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say about the people who do good? Allah tells us in Surah Al-Baqarah, the cow, Surah chapter number two, Ayah, verse number 195. At the end of the ayah, Allah, at the end of the verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
ان اللہ یحب المحسنین شورلی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی لوز دی ڈوئرز اف گڈ ہو ڈز اللہ لو ان اللہ یحب المحسنین شورلی اللہ لوز دی ڈوئرز اف گڈ سو دیر آئی اینڈ تھینک یو ویری مچ فار بینگ پیشنٹ فار لسننگ ٹو می ٹو دا ڈیبیٹس اینڈ ٹل نیکسٹ ٹائم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹو مائی فیلو مسلم برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز and a very good day and a very good bye to my fellow human beings whoever you are wherever you are thank you very much <laughs> hey, how are you i didn't know you were standing there i start talking to you have a nice day yes thank you very much you're a gentleman how are you brother yeah finish they have gone